Um, so Boogie is a paid associate of Keemstar's podcast called Locale Live. Um, this podcast has never been very successful. It's less successful than like mine, despite Keemstar backing it and Keemstar having huge pull, despite Wings and Boogie being huge people in their own right, uh, literally, and in terms of their channel and like their notoriety. Uh, but the the podcast just has has never been successful. Boogie then um, gets roasted by Medicur because of his crypto scam, which drives a little bit of attention to his podcast. Um, Boogie decides to deploy the lie that he had to scam people for money to pay for his cancer treatment. I discussed his cancer. He has a type of blood cancer, so he claims, um, which is a result of a genetic mutation and is a slow killer, and your life can be... Um, extended with appropriate treatment, uh, which can be quite expensive in the United States. I'm sure everybody knows. So Jim gets on the Lolcal Live podcast and debates Boogie. And it turns out he may be lying about his cancer. He can't prove it. Um, it could just be um, the f a different kind of blood disease that is related to obesity and not related to cancer, i.e. it would be his fault that he has this disease because he maintains a... Uh, seriously unhealthy level of obesity um, as opposed to a cancer, which one is generally helpless to uh, barring a few cancers of which the blood cancer is not one. This flame ignites uh, Keemstar's podcast, Mudahar joins all the uh, Charlie, the, uh, uh, the, the moist critical guy starts putting out multiple million view videos discussing the hot goss that Boogie is being eviscerated by the kings of the internet on the Lolcal Live podcast. Uh, Keemstar's podcast, the Lolcal Live podcast. Uh, tens of thousands of people start watching this podcast out of nowhere because of the Boogie drama. Boogie is then fired for lying. He is removed from the podcast, and he is being punished. He must delete all of his social media Keemstar orders. Uh, of course, he's invited to the next podcast as an unofficial guest of the show to be bullied, according to Keemstar. In which Jim is invited back, and they go over his history. Um, Boogie, throughout his channel, had given many sob stories regarding sexual and physical and emotional abuse, which resulted in his obesity. Um, he has told many different stories about his father in particular. Um, his father was a hardworking coal miner, a life-saving lumberjack, and an abusive alcoholic, depending on what story he's trying to tell. This is all reviewed on the Local Live podcast, hosted by Tommy C., operated by Keemstar. Um, and Jim, of course, epically owns him. Many people are enthralled by this high-octane internet drama, the best drama ever seen. Besides, uh, since the Boulder stream itself, peace be upon it. And, I mean, everyone's up Boku Bucks before this drama. Uh, the three that were hosting the podcast had to split $2,000 a month, a pittance between them as like a side gig. Now, of course, they're making tons and tons of money for Super Chats to be read out. A very avaricious and fortuitous and, um, and uh, magnanimous offering for all involved. In fact, Keemstar, who has direct contacts with YouTube, um, managed to do the impossible after this. And after Jim's multiple appearances on the Local Live podcast operated by Keemstar uh, to epically own Boogie, he says, dunked on Boogie so hard, YouTube remonetized me. So after years of having no monetization on YouTube, uh, two brief appearances with, with the gnome on the Live podcast, it's all fixed. Instantly fixed. Such are the, the good graces of the people in the know. <laughs> um, I don't know. If I sound too jaded, uh, I from the beginning, I saw this and I thought, Boogie is paid? He's literally paid by Keemstar to put on this show to make Keemstar money and Keemstar advertises the drama on his podcast, which pays Boogie so that he gets 
more attention and more money so he can do things to get more attention to his podcast because it makes him money, which he then pays Boogie. So when Boogie comes out and says, I'm faking cancer because he's a big, fat, shameless prick, and, oh, yeah, I'm also totally lying about my entire family history, and I have been ever since I started my channel, all I'm thinking is he's being paid, you know? Like, he he could very well literally have cancer and just refuse to show it because that's funnier to people, that's more entertaining, and that makes more money. Um, so I've never been able to find this very interesting because there's always that nagging suspicion in my head. This is a product created by a professional businessman who makes millions and millions and millions of dollars and has a drama enterprise and publishes video games and has a YouTube channel with multiple million subscribers that has been networked directly to the very top of YouTube as a safe space for internet drama that only covers the right stories. Of course, when Drop Kiwi Farms was happening and Keffels was coming after us and Liz Fong Jones was coming after us, Keemstar, who gets a lot of information directly from the Kiwi Farms, uh, didn't cover that at all and actually directly told me in private that he has no idea what the forum is. He's never He's never visited the Kiwi Farms before. <laughs> uh, so... I don't know. I don't particularly buy that, but that is what I was told directly. What is that message? Is that in Kick? Sorry, just scroll past my thing that really fast. Sorry, it like literally jumped across my image. But WWE. Is fun Josh more wrestling? <laughs> I mean, sure, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. But like when I look at it, I think this is this is being sold to me, and I I don't like advertisements. Is what I don't like, and I really I don't like Keemstar. I just can't get over Keemstar because it's just like I I will never appreciate the fact that he's spent eleven years directly cohabitating the same space, and he has literally literally never in any capacity on his YouTube channel, on his Twitter, on both his Drama Alert and his Keemstar channel, on his podcast, he has never once mentioned the words Kiwi Farms. I bet you if you transcribe every single Drama Alert video he has literally ever fucking made and you search the words Kiwi Farms, he has never mentioned it. Keemstar received a direct order from the top down Many years ago, do not ever mention this fucking site, ever. That's how you stay on Twitter, as a verified checkmark with millions of subscribers. That's how you stay on YouTube, as a uh, earned incomer who has a direct relationship with YouTube. Never mention it. So, I like, then, you know, years later, um, Boogie invites me on. Right before Jim got on, by the way, right before this all happened, he sort of personally reached out to me for the first time in you know, 11 fucking years and denied ever knowing. And he only did that because Boogie and Wings both reached out to me in private and said, we want to have you on the fat retard podcast. And I said, I don't want to be on the fat retard podcast. And then I, and I said, in particular, I don't like Keemstar. And then Keemstar reaches out to try to bury a hatchet. And then this happens. <laughs> so I'm in this position where I feel this is super sketch. Boogie is utterly shameless the man gets fucking naked on camera for money he literally prostituted himself effectively in the documentary um because he he's he as shameless as it possibly gets and then of course the people that that do what keemstar wants and brings a new audience in and uh goes through the ritual with boogie they're financially compensated for it and you know that's fine um if I sound if I sound like I'm bitter at Jim, I'm not. It's kind of like with Turkey Tom. Like I understand why Turkey Tom does the her prostate thing. Um, it's about getting that cheddar, getting that guap. YouTube is a whore. Um, it should be beaten for its cash. It should be literally ransacked. It should be robbed like a bank. And anyone abusing YouTube to make money um, is doing right by me. I'm simply acknowledging that I think that there is. Um, 
tit for tat. And I, I really just, I can't sink my teeth into the narrative of the, the whole boogie thing. Um, because it feels kind of phony to me. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.